Hello guys, you're watching me at midday. My name is Surbhi Jain and we are sitting with the cast and the makers of School of Life. They need no introduction, so I'll straight jump into the conversation and here they are. Thank you for joining us today at midday. Each of you have been so creative and so talented. I am sure it's never enough for me to describe what I feel when I see your work. But Gitika, I'll start with you. You know, I saw you in Sony. That was your first work, I remember. And I was just sitting alone as a batch, as a single girl uh, during my life and living alone in a flat and I went through that series. Coming out of that and seeing you as from a cop to a mother in, a, in the series is something very different for me, you know. You have been a person who always comes out with different kind of characters and you do not, if I can say, the scripts or the kind of stories you do, do not see anything in the line that has been maybe done before. It's absolutely different. It's not just you, all of you actually. So tell us about that. How do you keep up with that and how do you experiment with it? To be at the right place at the right time is a result of a lot of things that have gone correct. A lot of them are beyond our control. Sometimes you are just lucky to be somewhere. But also another definition for luck mm -hmm. is being ready when the opportunity arises. So I have time and again received stories which have been envisioned with a certain nuance honesty mm -hmm. and a lot of emotion. The fact that th those stories found me is my sheer luck. Beyond that, I have tried to be as responsible and as sincere as possible. As a result of which, maybe you loved it. <laughs> a lot of bachelorettes in India have loved the kind of parts that I've been seen doing. It's just uh, I've been at the right place at the right time and have been sincere. Well, that says it all, you know, the, the way you worked on it. It's, it's a perfect example of how it comes out as a project, right? So, when it comes to Avinash, sir, so you've been, uh, whenever I was reading about you, Pata Lok, Killa, uh, Karwan, every other project that you've worked on and any director that I've met, you know, it's just whenever I sit in front <coughs> of them and when I look at them, it's like, where do they get these brains from? I wanted to know, as a director, how do you end up working on such stories and how do you pick them up in front of you? And you know, given the school of lies is a story about children, it's a drama where psychologically it's showing what happens, right? So how difficult was it to, you know, come out with this sort of a story and that to working with children? Difficulties, I'm not sure. But yes, a lot of excitement. And more than excitement, I guess this, uh, this opportunity to feel to feel and to express mm -hmm. it in a cinematic form, whatever. So, so for me, I have always been interested in like children because I feel like in Hindustan, there are films about children and films for children or content yeah. for children. There is a lot of like, uska abhav hai, yeah. you know. So, to, and, and I am extremely thankful for like to Disney Hotstar and BBC India to produce such a kind of a show and to trust in this idea. And they gave us this opportunity to develop this content. And uh, yeah, and and because with children, I feel like when I see a child, so I feel like they are. Many times, it happens that they are like adults, or then they become very small children. So I, I really don't like sort of like like that. You know, I, 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 I want to look at them as as who they are, what they are, how they talk, what they, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 content of their their consciousness is, you know. So I've been interested in all that. Or, uh, yeah, I'm just thankful that like we got this opportunity to make this show. Yeah. Okay, well that says it all that, you know, you coming out as a director in that form. I think, I think we are waiting for a very good and exciting series coming to us. And, and one more thing is like, like because, because uh, innocence, because of their yeah. innocence, you can, you can say and address so many things yeah. because adult minds are, uh, their conditioned minds, yeah. you know, because they and conditioned minds, the judgment comes out of the conditioning, you that's know, so true, and, yeah. and, and, and and children, they're, they're in, they they still carry that innocence. That's why, honest, like they, they express themselves honestly. So many bigger tr truths, up itni asani se aap unke through like jata sakte ho, bata sakte ho na, jo uh, adults ke saath thoda sa mushkil hota hai kabi kabi. That's so true. And in, yeah. in fact, understanding a child is, I think, much more difficult 
than an adult because you know what's Haan, actually sometimes Haan, going on in their mind. किसी भी बच्चे को ये अच्छा नहीं लगता कि उसको बच्चा ट्रीट किया जाए. That's that's that's. क्योंकि बचपन में मुझे तो ऐसा लगता था because I was like you know कभी भी अगर कोई अगर मुझे आपने बोला था. Especially when you're coming to the teenage. Of course because everyone is like I understand everything I know everything. Like even a four-five year old kid also will like you know he'll be like he'll he'll give you those eyes. I know it all. Yeah, so, so that's so yeah. Yeah, especially what do you think uh, would be the reaction? Maybe I'm just asking a question hypothetically. You know, after uh, the generation that is coming forward, we are millennials and the Gen Z is coming. When they watch this series, they are so different from what we are. I think when I see the children who are in class seven or eight now, when I saw my when I see myself back then, I think there's a huge huge difference. I won't say it's a gap, but of course the country or the world has advanced but do you think how will they relate to it how could you manage to pull it to that level that they will also get it oh i guess they will have lot lots to talk about in fact what what i'm hoping is that while watching a series like this with their parents they yeah. get points they get spaces from where conversations start i think that's also very important as parents or for children right so shani ma'am we uh, <laughs> We almost come from the same background. I'm from Kolkata. You're from Jamshedpur, right. but very nearby. And I was studying uh, about you. You're an English honors grad. Right. Same, same here. But when I was reading about you, you wanted to be a novelist. Right. Then you also became a PR professional. Right. You wanted to be a writer. That never happened. You came across the story of Ali Gur, and right. you just mailed the story to Sir Hansel Mehta. Right. From that, you know, you always mentioned that it's a fluke that happened. I didn't know that. <laughs> Ali Gur. Yeah, that's right. true. Yeah. Okay, we'll come back. And to that. We'll come back. Wonderful. Yeah. So you know, I was still amazed by the fact that you know you could come to that point that you wrote the script and you could mail it to the the director and he came back because definitely it's a great script. The story is amazing. Again, these movies are such that uh, or the kind of series you guys are coming out with, School of Lies. These are work that you need to have patience and watch Aram. So you cannot just jump. It's not a rom com. Even for rom com, sometimes it works differently, but. This is the kind of content probably a lot of people like us would want to look forward to, right? Yeah. So when it comes to writing that, you've picked again, like I said, like all of you, even you have picked up absolutely different stories. Given School of Lies also come from true uh, story uh, events, so how much time does it take for you to work on such scripts? And don't you find it difficult? Yes, I find it very <laughs> difficult. <laughs> writing is a difficult job, yeah. but it's also very rewarding, I think. Yeah. and uh, you get to work with some of the best minds it's a very collaborative job it i mean you do it on your desk yeah that's, but that's humility yeah. bhai yeah, aap no, sab but, karte uh, but no it's it's a uh, the energy that just flows even with aligarh i wrote this uh, you know story idea hmm. i emailed it to hansal sir and when i came to bombay i met him i met apurva asrani who wrote the film so it was uh, and then of course manoj bajpayee who acted so that is the energy that keeps you going it's it's a it's a very uh, difficult thing but it also becomes that much rewarding yeah. because the entire experience plays out like that and uh, so much fun that you know one starts to have one when it starts to get short and then you are in it and the actors bring their own life the director of course has you know the most exemplary vision and i have always been very fortunate that way whether it's uh, avinash sir or hansal sir or some of the most prolific directors i have worked with like it's a joy to see what you have written yeah. <laughs> come alive on screen so yeah very exhilarating <laughs> that way well, lot of fun i think we all are, again it's something that comes out to you with all your creativity and i think if i should just say it proudly i think those part of the country has that creative feel to it mm-hmm. of course <laughs> like the idea of english and you also being a bengali although i'm not a bengali but i've Study there, so hmm. that there's a feel different. I'm just saying it very. I'm in Bangla. Bush, I'm not speaking Bengali. You were talking in Bengali, actually. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah it's interesting. <laughs> All right. So, ma'am, coming to you, you have done such different projects. We've seen Dasvi also. We've seen Ali for sure. We've seen who I have not completed Hola, but I've seen a part of it. But you know, you have also been that person who are so uh, versatile. <laughs> you've done comedy you've done a serious film again based on somewhat of true story this also is something very different you're playing a sort of a child therapist character right so a counselor yes exactly school, yeah. so when you work on these how much does it take for you to change from a character to character you're an experienced artist but still there how do you get there you start with the writing 
that's yeah. where it that's where everything starts yeah. it starts with the page nothing is anything without the writing because this is a bit of a cliche but actors are actually really just instruments they are mediums really you know you are there you have to best lend yourself to the story that is being told with the vision of the director and the lens of the cinematographer and your co-actors and the environment so you just have to be present and truth be told after a point of time um it's not about what different roles have you done it's about how present can you really Sorry. be yeah. in the project you are doing without the worldly distractions and you know now with everything upon oh, us yeah. it's becoming more and more and more tough mm -hmm. to engage yourself truly with what you are there for as a as a professional it's a job mm -hmm. you know let's not get carried away and make it something uh, uh, extraordinary or you know um, it, it's a job and it is some it is my job to lend myself to the story that has been written and all of that good stuff with time and i hope to keep getting better at it i just <clears throat> my my really my pursuit is to keep surrendering more and more and more so that not only do i keep getting better at my work but i also become easier as a human being because you know kaam ek jagah hota hai and then there's life you see so when you're traveling from you know where i was born to how i grew up to now i am here and then i don't know where else i'll be later but my idea is that i want to keep getting better i want to keep experiencing different things different vision different people so why you do different paths as a person like i am is primarily because i, I get no satisfaction out of keep playing the same things again and again because it's not uh, a you know like a, a a bag of tricks कि मैं यही चीज़ कितनी बार कर सकती हूँ द आइडिया इज दैट हाउ हाउ मच कैन आई लर्न फ्रॉम एवरीथिंग दैट्स कमिंग टू मी सो माय अप्रोच इज दैट एंड आई रियली एंजॉय दैट एंड एंड इट्स मोर एंड मोर अबाउट द काइंड ऑफ पीपल यू वर्क विद व्हाट एनर्जी आर दे ब्रिंगिंग इनटू द प्रोजेक्ट हाउ कमिटेड आर दे ऑल ऑफ दैट रियली मेक्स अ वेरी बिग डिफरेंस टू मी एंड आई फील लाइक वेन यू हैव दैट इंटेंशन देन द राइट कॉन्टेंट एंड द राइट वर्क ऑल्सो स्टार्ट टू कम टू यू आई बिलीव दैट So mm -hmm. does that answer your question? It does actually it okay. makes it uh, very clear that what <coughs> makes you actually look into the kind of projects you would <laughs> opt for. Yeah. When it comes to the fact that when you were working on School of Lies, how did you decide on choosing the characters and what made the right fit that you chose Nimrat Ma'am or uh, Gitika Ma'am for this uh, this role? Very instinctive because I've I've, I've seen their works and yeah. really really I wanted to work with them. So that's it's as simple as that. I I wanted to work with them. and what about May you man when you say something which is extraordinarily uh, i appreciate it quite a lot in him when he says he had seen my work to ab kaam to ek hi tarah ka bahar hai na wo puri duniya ne wahi kaam dekha hai lekin usi kaam ko dekh ke trisha kar legi ye ye sochna is an act of courage which i was mentioning to him and i i'm mentioning it again now for record because what happens <coughs> repeatedly to us is we do one part जो दुनिया ने देख लिया एक ही तरह से सब देखते हैं और एक ही तरह के पार्ट्स आने लग जाते हैं फॉर सम वन टू से मैंने वो देखा था और वो देख के पता है ये कर लोगी जो अलग है जो mm -hmm. आप कह रहे थे सो टू बी गिवन दैट अपॉर्चुनिटी इज रियली इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर एन एक्टर एंड शी वुड लाइक रिलेट टू इट मच मोर देन ही वुड और शी वुड बिकॉज एक्टर्स को जो लिख दिया गया ना yeah. फिर किसी प्रोड्यूसर ने हाँ कर दी डायरेक्टर ने कहा बनाऊंगा तब एक्टर को मौका मिलता है करने का वरना नहीं मिलता है एंड फॉर डायरेक्टर्स टू हैव दिस विजन कि हाँ वो देखा था ये हो जाएगा इज रेयर आई होप मोर एंड मोर पीपल इनकलकेट दैट करेज इन हिम आई वैल्यू इट इन हिम इफ मोर पीपल हैव इट बेटर फॉर अस फॉर द ऑडियंस ऑल्सो ऑल राइट एंड यू नो सेम फॉर यू यू नो वेन यू राइट सच स्टोरीज हाउ डिड यू फील दैट यू नो विच डायरेक्टर वुड बी एबल टू डू जस्टिस टू एम यू नो आई वॉन्ट टू वर्क विद दिस डायरेक्टर हाउ डिड दैट कम इट योर माइंड so for school of lies i think the two of us started working yeah. on it uh, early on so we were together in this usually that is how it has been with me i've been very fortunate to work with directors uh, very closely right from the scratch building on an idea mm -hmm. and you know see it flourish uh, and of course it always helps that we are on the same page so yeah pretty much that and then to have wonderfully gifted actors come and put life into it 
लेकिन वो आपके गट से पेपर पे निकल के लाना आना वहां तक का जर्नी बहुत मुश्किल है मुझे लगता है एंड ऑफ टू यू थैंक यू वेल यू नो आई रिसेंटली विजिटेड दिस म्यूजियम कॉल्ड नेशनल म्यूजियम ऑफ इंडियन सिनेमा वेर आई कुड गो थ्रू एवरी टाइम दैट गोज अराउंड मेकिंग अ मूवी सो वेन यू थिंक ऑफ दैट वेन एन ऑडियंस इट्स लाइक इट्स जस्ट अ मूवी राइट they don't realize the hard work that actually goes into the making of production or technical technical part of it or acting or everything and in kudos to you guys on that and wish you all the best for thank the you. upcoming thank series you. any last bit that you have to say about the series you know it's coming on 2nd of june and we can't wait for it well it's a very important story that should have been told very very long ago i feel and and i'm just very grateful for the opportunity that um, you know avinash and ishani's mm-hmm. um, creation has brought forth because it's a world we see all the time which is mm-hmm. schools kids yeah. you know they're all around us um, but what happens a certain perspective on it certain events uh, you know they're based on certain uh, uh, life events that have happened um, in the past so it's a very very important story it is also a, a very i feel like you know in india a, a lot of us and our family values and all of that don't allow us to have conversations about things yeah. you know a lot of us stay quiet about Absolutely. a lot of things yeah. ki baat mat karo jaane do forget it yeah. you know move on do something else forget about this so i feel like it will just challenge that mindset a lot you know when i read this i felt like you it's very important for even if it makes a difference to one life somewhere to ha- develop that awareness and courage to speak at the right time and talk about what needs to be spoken about it is a very very important story and um all the intrigue that we are all um, uh, you know constantly hearing about everybody is very intrigued oh we are very intrigued that's the one thing that i hear as feedback about the trailer it looks gorgeous and it's very intriguing what is it about yeah. mm-hmm. so what it's about is one of the most important life conversations which is a global issue yeah. it's not mm-hmm. uh, an india issue or it's not a certain town issue it's a global issue so True. a very very important story in that sense all right Thank you so much guys. Thank Good luck you. for the series and for your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.